but you don't know what capitalism Yeah, abortion, I'm just about to tell you. No, no, no. Not Over abortion. 60 million no, no, no. through... No, 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 that's capitalism, isn't it? No. Oh, it isn't? Oh, yeah, so, you, so, so, so family planning is not a capitalist business? Nazis are a type of fascist group. Mussolini's fascist And socialists are a type of communist group. The reality is, Lister, is Christianity is a complete identity. It's a complete way of life. We are not practicing socialism here. That is Christianity. Socialism promises a lie, which is that we can achieve utopia in this world. We cannot achieve utopia in this world because of human sin. Humans are broken. We are innately selfish. And whether you use capitalism or socialism, we will still screw one another over. Lister, go on, go on. I'm just go thinking, on, yeah, yeah. shall we move this conversation less out of the way a bit? Well, move it away from him. Let's go right next to that stand. Let's do it. Let's do it here. Right, go on, Lister. What? what? Go you, on, Lister. You, you, you said that Christ was a communist. No, I never said that. I said a socialist. You said Christ was a socialist. Another difference between socialism and communism. Yeah, there are some differences. Some differences. Yeah. So why, when I'm only said. Jesus, I, I, I just minute. misheard you. I just you, misheard you. No, how could you mishear? I had said yeah. it over and over and over again. Yeah. So, so what, can you prove this statement that Jesus was a socialist? Uh, so what do? So what do you? What is your idea of socialism? Okay. So socialism to me is the idea that workers should control the means of production. That's communism. Yeah. No, it's also socialism as well. No, it's not. That's communism. So, so what's, what, what, what would you would you say socialists would disagree with this statement? There's, lo there's lots of there's lots of yeah because you're okay. Since I'm talking to you, how would you define socialism? Socialism is a, a shared ownership. Okay. Uh, it's not necessarily the workers. Yeah. But it's uh, like like the society as a whole. Yeah. Right. You're, you're speaking of a, a, a specific kind of socialism. The Labour Party would call itself socialist. It's not socialist, though. Well, the Labour Party of old, would call, in the yeah. 1980s, yeah, would call yeah. itself socialist. The Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn is socialist. Right. However, Jeremy, capitalists did Jeremy did, so, so and, 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 and taken over and like redefined the Labour Party. I, I'm not interested in that bit. I'm talking about socialism. I, I'm quite happy to agree that the Labour Party has abandoned socialism. So do you think... It, I agree with instance, you, it's abandoned you, so socialism. For instance, but, so, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about actual socialism. So let's so, get it clear about what actual socialism so for is. for instance, the workers yeah. don't own the NHS. Yeah. It's owned by the society in general. The Shared ownership at a state level. It can be state level. Yeah. Or it can be like a co-op. Yeah. So people can uh, share their homes in a cooperative way, and that's a form of socialism. Yeah. yeah. So there's lots of different ways that people can uh, take ownership of, of things in society. Yeah. Where it's not owned by a single capitalist. Right. Who makes profit out of it. Yeah. For himself. And so just sits okay. back. So I don't believe that yep. Jesus was uh, for... Uh, Someone sitting sitting back and taking profit from other people's labor. Okay. He went into the uh, temple and like threw over the tables. Okay, and, and you see that as a socialist act. Yeah. Right. That, so let's actually look at that passage then, because I would argue that there's no socialism in that act. So the let's word, look at the that. Word socialism. No, no. We've we've, we've got a socialism wasn't invented as a word. So let's have a look at it, because what I'm saying to you is that there's no justification for the claim that Jesus was a socialist. Zero. No. Nope. None. There's none. Because, because firstly, Christ, Christ himself accepted that labourers should receive a wage. That, that they should, that, that people, he, he accepted the idea of private property. Because Christ himself, he quotes the Ten Commandments and he said that thou shalt not steal. And in the context in which he said that, the assumption, the paradigm in which he says that, is the idea of private ownership. So, okay, let me get, let me bring do, do you accept that Christ A said those words and B the paradigm was the idea of private ownership? So I, I actually I'm not I actually think that we need a mixed system. However, and you said earlier that there's some things that you agree with on the left. Yeah. So what, what are the things that you do agree with on the left? Right. But but I, I I'll I'll tell you, I believe Because you shit on you shit on socialism a lot. Yeah. But you never shit on capitalism. No, I do. I do. I've never heard you shit on capitalism. I do. It's just that capitalism is a better system. Is a better economic. No, don't do that, bro. You're just being rude. 
he, like, he's got, he, he won't let me allow, use this footage. Well, why not? Because he's... That it's his, it's, that's private ownership. He has that right he, to decide. But that's the point. So he has the right to film someone pouring water on me, to laugh at me, so someone to call me an anti-Semite when I'm calling out this guy's anti-Semitism, and, and then he has the right to use that. Okay, your personal and, and, beef with well, him yeah, exactly. is, I'd, is, I'd is, rather, is not I'd my rather, issue. I'd rather not him. I'd rather not him. Yeah, I, 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 just, I just think that the idea of shared ownership when this is a shared space and you're denying someone shared privileges demonstrates the sort of hypocrisy that lay at the heart of so he's, many he's, on the left wing. put a strike on my footage yeah. explaining the way that he bullied me. Yeah. So, so I think Jesus teaches love thy neighbour. Yes. And he obviously yes. doesn't love his neighbour. If he's laughing at someone, he claims he's a... He, so, he's, uh, let, 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 let's he come claims, back. He claims he's let, let's uh, come back. heritage. Bro, I was calling let's, out... Uh, bro, shall we get to our topic? anti-Semitism. Uh, you're not going to convince me. You claimed you had okay, you, you, do you listen? Do you want to talk to him then? Shall I stop talking? Oh my God. Shall we stop talking? Do you want to argue with him or do you want to talk to I me? I just want to explain. No, I'm not interested. I'm honestly well, not interested. Let me do what I'm doing then. Right, so, so let, let, let's have a look at um, this, okay? So, uh, bear with us, right? You, you've asked a number of questions, but let's take them in turn. Firstly, um, for instance, in Mark chapter 7, it's Christ says, to, uh, a, a rich man comes to him, yeah? Sorry, yes, so in no. Mark chapter 7, verse 9, it says, He was also saying to them, You experts, you are experts at setting the, uh, aside the commandments of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honour your father and your mother, and he who speaks evil of father or mother is to be put to death. So he's talking about Old Testament law. He's quoting the Ten Commandments. It's a bit extreme, isn't it? Wait, to death someone who you, let's not it. jump around topics. Let's not jump around topics. So he's upholding, and I want to show you another passage where he upholds the same idea. Do you agree that someone should be put to death for uh, speaking ill about? Oh, I definitely believe that we we should pass laws that punish people for not honouring their mother and father. To death. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say to death Would these you days. With the Bible. Um, no, what I'm saying is that in in our age there are other ways with dealing in term we can dish out other kinds of punishments our options so you are broader with the Bible. I disagree with you a disagree literal with that, that listen I'll answer your question very plainly I disagree with very simple literal interpretations and applications of scripture because they ignore the ethical spirit of scripture okay and, and so now that I've answered that question, let's try and stick to one topic and not yeah, just yeah, jump around the Bible. No, no, but it was just and I've just, I've just answered that. that. I've just answered that. It's good to hear you say that. Okay. So, and, and the point is, bro, if you actually got to know more Christians and actually had a, a given honest listening to what Christianity teaches, you might find that it's less objectionable than you think. No, no, no. Okay. I, 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 a, I, I, I take a lot of inspiration from religious texts yeah. in my day-to-day -day life. Yeah. And especially in my anti-fascism. Okay. So, so let's let's come. So that I'll tell you the story. I can't find it right now. It's going to take too long. I'll, I'll try and find it in a second. If you need me to dispute it, a rich man comes to Christ and he says, "Good teacher, what must I do to be saved?" Christ replies, why do you call me good? Not don't call me good, but why do you well, call me like, good? I would like to, Only I God would is good. Like, I would like okay, to so let's do this, that. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. So in Mark 17, right, it says, as he was setting out on a journey, a man ran up to him and knelt before him and asked him, good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So that's the, the question. And Jesus replies, why do you call me good? Please note, Muslims, that's not don't call me good. It's just why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal. So Christ is talking about the Old Testament commandments. In this paradigm, in this paradigm, the idea of collective ownership didn't exist. So that's private ownership he's talking about. So Christ assumes private ownership. Socialism doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have private ownership either. Right. It just means that uh, you can have things like the NHS yeah. and uh, uh, things that everybody needs, yes. like the um, energy sector, yes. uh, railways, yes. and, uh, 
yes. police, yes. they are all owned by the collectors. But remember, your so, statement was Christ was a socialist. Yes. So show so, me that he so was a socialist. Do not steal. I would yeah. suggest that if someone's uh, working with yes. somebody else, yes. and the other person just sits back on yes. his ass and does no share of the work, yes. he would be stealing his labour. No, because, because he's not paying him a fair wage and he's exploiting. No. So do you believe that Jesus would allow uh, capitalists to exploit the poor? No, of course not. And this is the and, and, but this is the point. This is the point. You, you're 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 pointing at something that we Christians agree with, but what you're doing is you're then mislabeling Christ. Christ was not a socialist. He he lived in a feudal slave owner society, in which people owned property and employed day laborers to work the land. And hold on, slavery? he was yeah. He said, "I've come to set the captives free." He never owned a slave. Yes. Yeah, so and and he taught about setting people free so from slavery, which in which inspired which inspired the early church to to set slaves free in their thousands so you know you, you're a fascist but, so, so my, but my point to you is we we christians have an idea of voluntary socialism well no 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 hold on we christians believe in the idea of voluntary socialism there's been examples of it and don't get caught up with the heckling but the, there are examples of it all the way through christian history of communal ownership I can show you in the book of Acts, so in I, Acts chapter 4. So I, just want to, I just want to respond. With, yeah. if, if it, let's say it cost a uh, slave owner yeah. like two pound per day to own a to, to like keep up for the upkeep of a slave. Yeah. So for their housing, for their food, to get yeah. them fit and yeah. healthy, yeah. it cost them two pound. And then let's say that, or let's say two pound an hour. For instance, yeah. And let's say that the freeze, uh, the Slavery ends, yep. and all the slaves are freed, yep. and then it costs, let's say, uh, then then they're able to then choose to work for uh, yep. for their earnings, yep. and let's say they get paid a little less or a little more than two pound yep. uh, per hour yep. for for their. I know you're talking their, about capitalism. Work. We can yeah. just cut to the chase. We know so, what capitalism does. So I would suggest that although we've said that we've given up slavery, yeah. basically what we've actually done is allowed slaves to just choose what shitty food or what shitty yeah. house to live in. So let, and, can and I reply I to that? I would suggest that Jesus would be against that exploitation from what he did in the And can, the I, can I reply to that? Like, uh, yeah. flipping over No, no, the, that, uh, that, 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 that second time you've quoted it, so I do think we actually need to go to that passage. Because firstly, of course we Christians are against that exploitation. If you actually look at um, the statements of the papacy, at the rise of industrialization, it, the, 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 I forget which document it was, but the papacy condemned both the brutalities of industrialization and the rise of the Marxist at the same time. There's a, I forget which encyclical it was, but Christians have always fought against injustice when they've recognized it as injustice. So, now that is okay. not the same, well so, let me, no, no, Lister, you've made many points, allow me to reply to the points. Let's have a conversation, right? When Christians recognize something as injustice, they have very much been motivated to fight against it. But the problem with your socialist narrative is you mislabel so many things. We don't have slavery legally in the West anymore. You're free to live your own life and to make your own economic choices. That's not slavery and you can succeed and you can become okay, rich. So wait, 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 Lister, one second. No, because you don't let me deal with any points. No, but you Lister. go on a big long tangent Lister, shit, like, Lister, okay. right? You've said that this passage in John chapter two, where Christ kicks over the, the, the money changers tables is a sign of his socialism. So let's read that passage and see if you're right. Can we come to that in a second? Wait, no, because you've raised it twice to, now. No, I know, but we, we well, can you get can, to that because it's right, so, still relevant. No, I just no, want to deal with something that you said before. But no, 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 I'm going to finish this point. Right, this point where Jesus goes into the temple, the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went to Jerusalem and he found the temple, those who were selling oxen and sheep and doves and the money change seats at their tables 
and he made a scourge of cords and drove them out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen. And he poured out the coins of money changers and overturned their tables. So he basically goes into the temple and he kicks ass, right? And he's not a pacifist. He uses a weapon on people. Sorry. Yes. Who did he use a weapon on? Oh, the, the money changers. No, he's, he... Look, and he, and he made a scourge of cords and drove them all out of the temple. Yeah, could, That's like, man and beast. If yeah. a man came with a whip did... right now and what's, started using it to whip? force us what's backward... The what's the whip? The cord. The cords. Did so he's not a pacifist. And made a scourge of cords. What yeah, a scourge it's a whip. I've yeah. literally just told you it's a whip. Yeah, but does, it, does he hit them with the whip? Or does he just... Do you how just how do you expect to drive out the people? By, like, fear, like threat. Well, that's okay. one. That's certainly one way some people interpret it. But you've got to understand, these people in that temple understood that they had the right to be there. They're not just going to walk away because someone says, get out. And the Jews, as the Jews have demonstrated all the way through history, are able and willing to fight. If you push a Jew, what's the most Jewish thing to do? Sorry, no, I didn't. High. Yeah, exactly. So the most Jewish thing to do if someone uses aggression against you is to do what? Retaliate. Exactly. So there was a fight there. And Christians want to dilute the scripture because they don't want to accept that Jesus wasn't the uh, stained glass window image that they've been brought up with. Now, he gives his reason. He says, take these things away. Stop making my father's place a place of business. In other words, his reason for doing this is theological. The temple of God is being defiled and he's defending the honor of the temple. And then it's the, 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 the apostles remember, the, his disciples remember that it was written, zeal for my house will consume me. So we Christians need to be filled with zeal for the house of the Lord. We need to be filled with zeal for the temple. That's not communism. I'm not talking about communism. It's not even socialism. See, please stop saying okay. communism. Because All right. I'm not a communist. Agreed. Agreed. I, I, I'm, fine, I'm, Lister. I'm arguing for a, a, fine. a, a mixed okay. economy. Okay, that's not socialism. Okay, maybe you're right there. Okay, fair enough. So right, go on, you wanted so to make fun. You, you said that like people can have a choice of uh, uh, where they work and what they... Yeah. He, you mentioned earlier in that earlier debate, PO, yeah. uh, the, the ships who have just removed... Yeah, uh, totally wrong. Rights. Totally wrong. And do they? So they don't have a choice where they can work anymore. And what they, what you know, are going to do is instead of paying people yep. for whatever the wage, minimum wage, or whatever they were on for their wages yep. the, that were their UK rights, because of Brexit, they don't apply anymore. So what they're going to do is take foreign workers yep. and pay them much less from, I think, Lithuania, yep. pay them much less, like £2 an hour. Yep. And the people who own p are the people who own Dubai. So it's these uh, feudal yep. kind of lords who uh, just like yep. autocratically own yes. this, this yes. like, system. Yep. And they're going to now use wage slavery on people who are foreign to our, our, our lands, just in the way that they uh, get foreign uh, workers to build their skyscrapers yep. in Dubai. Yep. So once uh, we give too much power to these people, and let's, I believe that our the, the Lord's house is literally the earth, because I think God is the earth, God is everything. If he's omnipresent, he is everywhere. If he's if he's uh, omnipotent and knows everything and all seeing. I will come be, and find you, bro. I promise you, I'll come and find you. His eyes must be everywhere. So that makes sense. So that makes I've got sense. a battery charger. Uh, the, uh, that makes sense that the, uh, uh, the, the universe itself is God's eyes and is, is, he is everywhere. Yeah. So his temple is everywhere. You don't just have to build a, a temple to, uh, because that uh, brings idolatry and people who can take advantage of that. Like yep. the, the priests who, who uh, uh, which you see in America a lot, who are flying around on their private jets saying that God has willed them a yep. private can I Can I reply to all of that, Lister? Because the thing is, what, what you're rightly, rightly condemning there is a, a, a grotesque, erroneous teaching uh, that people are using called the prosperity gospel. This idea of a pastor saying, God has willed that I should have a private jet. Totally ridiculous, completely unbiblical, and there are plenty of Christians that condemn that. 
The problem is the media focuses in on those people as if they represent mainstream Christianity. They do not represent mainstream Christianity. Oh, so sure. that's the first point. Next point, next point, next point, next point. I am saying as a Christian that I disagree with the maltreatment of workers. I disagree with it because the, 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 one of the principal virtues of the Christian faith is the virtue of justice. As Christians, we need to operate in justice, and justice means a day's work receives a day's wage. Now, I, I think you're, you're possibly wrong, but it, it, let's not get caught up on the minor point about the wage that the new people are going to receive, because we do have a minimum wage for a reason. There's a legal minimum wage, and it's more than two pounds. So if, if the, the, the idea that this company is proposing to do that sounds to me like Someone's given you a bit of misinformation there. But let, let's be clear, let's be clear. One second, one second, one second. The reality is, as a Christian, I am not bound to any economic system. I'm not bound to any economic system. There's nothing sacred about capitalism. There's nothing sacred about socialism. As a Christian, I can operate as a Christian in a socialist society. As a Christian, I can operate as a Christian in a capitalist society. My concern in both kinds of societies is justice. But then the next question comes, which of those two systems has brought about the most justice? Now, I personally think that capitalism is horrendous, but I actually think that it works better than socialism in lifting people out of poverty. So okay. How, how many deaths is, uh, you, you mentioned how many deaths communism is responsible for? A hundred million. How many deaths is capitalism responsible for? Well, that's the point. You've it, not done the calculation. You've not even looked up. You instantly know what communism is responsible yeah. for, but you don't know what capitalism Yeah, abortion, I'm just about to tell you. No, no, no. Not Over abortion. 60 million no, no, through, no, 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 that's capitalism, isn't it? No. Oh, it isn't. Oh, yeah, so, you, so, so, so family planning is not a capitalist business? No. You, you, you don't get abortions on the NHS, so how is that capitalist? Which is not justice. No, hold on. I'm talking about how many people commit suicide at work. How many people have died at work? How many people have died at the hands of their employers because they're risking their lives every day doing dangerous jobs? 40,000 people, for instance, died in the making of the Panama Canal. That sounds like a good day in Stalin's communist state. Hold on, hold on, state. hold on, no. In the people, gulags. Hold on, listen. People, 40,000 people died in the making of the pa Panama Canal. Yeah. Canal. So the people who owned the businesses that were traveling their boats around uh, South America yeah. could cut port in the corners and save a lot of money and make more profit. And I would that condemn that. That is a capitalist. So, how many deaths, if, if communism is responsible for 100 yeah. million, how many deaths is capitalism? Those, those, those were just the political deaths. Those were just the political deaths. Capitalism. How many is that responsible for? And yeah. How many is socialism responsible right. for? Because I would suggest that socialism yeah. is uh, more responsible, is, uh, responsible for saving more deaths than it is killing. So, so let me reply to that. My concern is justice. I I would stand with the workers of those ferries in their right to try and defend their rights. And I think in a decent society, we would basically boycott that company now and bankrupt it. Right? But that sense of justice, that cultivation of justice, doesn't come from a socialist ideology. For, and, and I would also say this, Lister. I would say defenders of socialism and defenders of capitalism are both in for a rude awakening because both of those paradigms are going to collapse in the face of the environmental collapse that yes. we're all facing. Yes. So the, the, this debate is soon going to be relegated. One second. This we debate. This. This. No. No. We don't. Yes, we do. We don't. The, the reality is the the whole socialist capitalist argument is soon going to be redundant because we're, we're facing a, a, an even bigger challenge and it doesn't matter what economic system you use, neither of them have the mechanisms to fix the problem. Because the problem should have been fixed nearly 80 years ago yes. and it's already well too late. Exactly, yes. Right, so the point, but the point is, if we had, if we picked no hold on, but the point is, we, we Christians don't need socialism. We don't need it. 
We're better than socialism and we have something better to offer than socialism. Because the reality is, socialism as an economic enterprise comes with a lot of baggage. It comes with a lot of hatred in the heart. It's an ideology built on envy. An envy of the rich. That's your interpretation. It's an ideology based on sharing. So, for instance... Forced if, sharing. If, forced no, sharing. Forced sharing. If, if, you, if, if you are to take li and live your life uh, in the example of Jesus, would you believe that you could be a capitalist and uh, exploit a load of people and the workers and, and you just sit back on and... and uh, How many get times do I have to say no? Hold on. And get rich off the, the backs of their labour. How many times do I have to say no? would you share your foods? Would you create something out of uh, how many times do i need to say no uh, a basket of 40 listen you know like what the, the problem is the fish you've and, asked and me the, that and question the and then you'd share it around listen you've asked me that question three times and three times after you're not listening no 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 three do times you? you've asked me the question and i've said no so which, i've said but which right one is so jesus so, more like He's more like a socialist. None of them. Because he's never acted like a no. capitalist. He yes, he did. He acted like a socialist. He, no, he didn't. No, Jesus told his disciples to go into the towns and to buy bread. <laughs> Buying bread was working. The economic system that he worked he in was free, more... Remember? was much more miracles. like and Buy you see this you free. see if just just listen just if, if the, just try to respect listen we're having an intelligent I'm conversation your error, Bob. don't worry yes i'm saying That's just I respect am. lister i'm trying to have an intelligent conversation yeah, with lister jesus right yes. sadly our conversation is just going to descend into a shouting yeah. match because of your friend here no, no, no. because of your slightly emotionally out. unstable please, 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 and please, mentally ill bad. friend Oh, so let me let me show you something right we, we we don't need socialism we don't need socialism because socialism can't give to humanity what humanity needs wait one second one second one next one second firstly socialism is built on a philosophical lie the hegelian lie the idea that societies are moving from thesis to antithesis towards a synthesis that's governed by a zeitgeist towards some utopian future. You can't achieve utopia. And socialism promises a lie. Look, let me finish. Socialism promises a lie. It promises utopia in this world. Christianity. You know, you say, right, are we going to talk? Listen, listen. Well, you listen, listen right? Listen right. So, socialism promises a lie, which is that we can achieve utopia in this world. We cannot achieve utopia in this world because of human sin. Humans are broken. We are innately selfish. And whether you use capitalism or socialism, we will still screw one another over. Right. Just as they have done in every socialist and communist society in the world, and just as they have done in every capitalist society in the world, the reason why capitalism is so successful is because rather than fighting the screwing over, it says run with it. Exactly. Right. It's worse. It's so. It's worse. It doesn't even try and fix the problem. I agree. Whereas socialism is trying to fix the problem. I agree. I agree. So in terms of its. Better, so no, if we, it isn't. If, if we no, it isn't. That idea that sharing is better than exploitation, Bob, yep. and everybody just stops saying, "Oh, but it's always been like that," and we people are always that, sinners. So let's just deal with that. Like that—that's what allows Nazis and nationalism and far-right ideologies to come in and take over, instead of allowing. The boogeyman is not coming. We just right? Agreed. We've got uh, the last. The last yeah, time nationalism is rising. I never said nationalism would win. The, 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 these are not the same statement, and that's the problem with the extremists on the left. It will is win. you are governed if, if, by if fear are, and envy. No, no, it will win if you class Tommy Robinson as a brother just because he calls himself. If a he Christian. calls himself a Christian, I will give him the peace of the Lord. It, so do you realise that people can lie? Of course. And do you not think it's obvious that when someone socialists like Tommy use lies all the time? Realise that I've never lied against Tommy Robinson. I, you do. I, you call him a racist. He's not a racist. He a racist. He's not a racist. I've got a video that proves it. It does. It. He's not a racist. So is it racist to if Mohammed? Uh, oh, what's his name? Yeah. The, the runner. The, the runner. Uh, <laughs> shit. This guy. 
Uh, yeah. What's, Brother, what's the uh, what's the long just, distance? Just, just, just make your point, bro. Let's what's let's the, talk about the meta narrative. The, no, I want to quote Tommy Robinson, but what's the British long distance runner, Olympic gold? Uh, the guy from Somalia, I think, yeah, Mo, Mo Farah. Farah. Yeah. So he said yeah. uh, he felt he was made to feel like an alien when he came to this country, and Tommy Robinson said, "No, you may be made to be, feel like an alien in this country because the people from your country, Somalia, are backwards barbarians." Yeah. Is that a racist thing to say? So, the, so. Is that a racist? No, thing no, no. To let say? me finish. Let me finish what I've got to say. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm going. Go, I'm going. Listen, I would disagree with what Tommy Robinson said there. Is it racist? Though? For me, it's about the intention. It's about no, no, no. It's no. It's about the intention. Listen. The intention is to raise hatred against. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't believe that. No, I don't believe that that is Tommy Robinson. But the thing is, but the thing is, the thing. Did you just hear what? You just said that. I'm Irish. Brit is an idea. I'd say the same thing. I think Wait. I'm sorry and I told my folks. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I would, I, would, I would shake Tommy Robinson's hand. He, 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 he never... He never... He never... I'll shake your hand. I'm telling you. I'd shake Tommy Robinson's hand. He isn't all. just unique to white people. Yeah. No, but, but, but the point but that, is, that's the point is, the point is, the point is, so so the point is, the point is, bro, is right? Is it a racist thing to say? No, you no, no. I disagree with it. Right. Is that a racist thing to say? No, I think it's a really stupid thing to say. But it's not racist. It depends, it's on, the it depends on the intention. The depends on the intention. Intentions is racist. The, the, uh, yeah, the, that's what you're saying. No, that's, that's what he's that's saying. That's just what you're saying. So give me an example of racism. It is saying. So, 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 and I'll give you an example of racism. An example of racism would be the Ku Klux Klan referring to black people with the N-word and saying we should hang them all. That would be an example of racism. So, Tommy okay. Robinson, Tommy Robinson is, is a guy, is a, look, Tommy Robinson comes from a white working class community. He never started in life as a politician. And the idea that he should be able to articulate everything that he feels and everything that believes Everything that he feels and everything that he believes. He's also a flawed man, yeah. and people say crap. You mean they? You committed fraud. they the people say he also crap. Committed fraud say, no, I'm not interested. Against the working I'm not class interested. People that now, and, and this is why. On, so, sadly, I just have to raise my voice to make my point because Lister. The slightly dust, emotionally dust, troubled. Dust, yeah, sorry, dust, dust. dust. I, remember Jesus I mean, performed miracles as well. You, you, you wear the same kind of cardigans. <laughs> yeah, blue. You got a red, similar, a similar dress same. sense, and a well. similar approach to uh, well. a similar so approach on, to the conversation. The use of the N -word. Right. So there are other words that are. Just, Lister. Hold on, hold on. You, there are other Lister. words that are just as bad as the N word. Lister. For other communities. You're never going to convince me he's a racist until I hear him. So Until I hear him commit examples, to a racist there ideology. There are other examples where he's uh, used the p-word against uh, people from Pakistan. Yeah. So you do understand Pakis use the word Paki, right? Yeah, but he's using it in an offensive term. Like, if people want to reclaim that word for themselves, if people want to reclaim that word for themselves, like Christians right. did with the word Christian. So. Like, like uh, Christians did with the word so, Christian. So black people can reclaim the N word. Uh, yep. I've got no problem with that. Pakistanis can I got no problem with that. The, but the thing is, the thing is, no, what's right? Use these words for his Lister, own, Lister, own Lister we're getting way off the point. Stoke up the yeah. Lister, we're getting way off the point. We're talking about communism and Christianity. That's the con no, I, that's the that's the conversation I'm interested in, right? You're not going to convince me as a racist. So this is a moot point, right? I'm just you're just not going to convince me, and I am going to share the peace with him if he calls himself a Christian and I don't care if you want to villainize me for that because if he calls himself a follower of Christ that is more important to me than his past or anything he said prove it prove it's a lie prove it's a lie how do you know because he is clearly not how do you know do you know him yes I know him very well so so you've spoke to him I've yes. never spoke to him. So you but don't know whether he's lying. He is very and this is what I mean. This is what I mean. So often, I can prove that he's a liar. This is, this, you're a liar. I can prove that he's a liar. You have just proven you're a liar. Hold on, I'm not. You're lying about Tommy Robinson no, right now no, because you're my saying opinion, you're saying he's opinion. lying about being a Christian and you have zero evidence to prove okay, the point. Okay, so if, zero evidence. If, so many, you are now a liar. How many times, so why should I believe what you have to say? How many times does someone have to lie about other things? Like now. Before you. No, 
because like now, this is my opinion. No, that he's a liar. That, so, so because, no. Because you said uh, he's not listen, a Christian. Listen, me, you just, you point. just said can he's I not a Christian. I, Prove can it. Can I make my point? So, he has lied over and over again throughout his life about various things. Not interested. Proven, he's a Christian. That are proven. So am I. So he's, then, he's, he's past so then, his wiped so, away. So I don't then, care about his past. But he has always claimed that he's a Christian. No, he hasn't. Is he not? No, he hasn't. He's actually, he's actually rejected the Christian faith openly in the past yes. and he's condemned the church openly in the yes. past. Because I have spoke to him That's personally and he has rejected the church in the past. Yeah. I've been in a room where he's condemned the church in the past. So you're simply ignorant, Lister. No, but he is you're always, simply he is ignorant played, about his own personal he's journey. Always tried, he's always tried you're never going to convince me no, to listen, reject him if listen, he's called listen, himself a Christian. Him. Do you listen. think he's Jesus? No, he, of course not. Why he, use the word like reject? That's he, a bit weird. He has used Christianity, whether he's believed it or not, to try and say that we are from a, a country of no, Christian values and he's tried to promote Christian values in such a way no, that makes him uh, uh, like almost right. that. Like, and Lister, I've all, and, 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 and you just heard me in a big long conversation say that Christians should not get bed in t with nationalists. And, and this kind of, no, 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 you're not calling him out no, if he's a Christian, racism. no, you want me to attack a brother Christian and I won't do it. You're not calling him out for his racism. No, and if he is a Christian, so I'm not going to attack him for his past. And in the, Full stop. So in the last conversation, I don't know how many times I can say this to you. In the last you. conversation, sorry. How many times do I have to say in this to you? Uh, I, you want me to attack up, him? No, can I bring up Look, because I'm, I'm not interested in talking about Tommy Robinson. I'm not interested in, in talking about Tommy Robinson. Uh, with, with the right. Guy, it, it was it was claimed that Hitler needed Christians and 60 or 70 percent of Christians to agree with him and put him into power or to help put him in power. And that comes from Christians not being able to call out other people when they're blatantly not acting in a Christian way. Okay, can I they're reply just now? Using that in a way to kind of grift or to can I, can I reply now? in the same way that can no, I reply can now? I finish? Because I wanted to cut in, but I want to make my point. So in the same way that you have American fundamentalist Christians who are standing on stage saying, "Give me the, give me more money," because God has told me that I need a private private jet. And you're saying that, oh, just because he's called himself a Christian on the stage and he's buying himself a private jet, I'm not going to call him out because he says he's a Christian. No. That is how nationalism can I, can and authoritarian uh, regimes take hold because of people like you can I reply not now? holding people to account for their lives. Can I reply now? now you can okay. So firstly, You've literally just walked from one conversation to the other one where I challenge Christians not to get bed in, na in, in, in with nationalists. Secondly, 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 Lister, the, 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 the problem with the narrative of the extreme left is that they see Nazis everywhere. The reality is, you have, you have no, no, you're interrupting. The, the reality is, you when you are challenged to provide any evidence at all, I'm going to talk to the camera because he's not talking, he's not listening. So now notice he's interrupting. So in terms of in terms of rope, let the rope listen. So so the reality is. Lister accuses Tommy Robinson of lying about his identification, about being a Christian. And when he's asked for evidence, he provides zero evidence. I am stating that if Tommy Robinson has called himself a Christian, I will treat him as a brother. And if that means that I hear something from Tommy Robinson's lips and I have a relationship with him as a brother, that I see him falling into error, I will encourage him to grow in the truth. And that means increasingly separating himself from nationalist narratives. But I am not going to just condemn him because of his past. Why? Because when you become a Christian, you become a new creation. You throw off the old man and you take on the new. When you are baptized, your old self dies and a new person arises. No, Lister, one second. I'm going to change. Lister, Lister, I, your fetish about Tommy Robinson is not important to me. What is important to me is explaining why, explaining why Christians don't need socialism. Because we Christians have an idea of voluntary socialism. Look, let me show you, right? And the congregation of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and not one of them claimed that anything belonging to him was his own. 
but all things were common property to them. And with great power the apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and the abundant grace was upon them all. For there was not a needy person amongst them, for all who were owners of the land of houses would sell them and bring them to the proceeds of the sales and lay them at the apostles' feet and they would distribute to each any as any had need. We Christianism, we, no, that's Christianity. No, it's Christianity. Socialism was the invention of Karl Marx in the 1800s in response from which socialism emerged, which was, which was which, which was something Jesus is a socialist. No, Jesus no, a no, that is Christianity. That is not socialism. You need Christianity. We don't need socialism. So let's let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. This community operated, operated, operated operated and that's the no no christians had this ideal before socialism you took you took christianity and you distorted it let's have a conversation not a shouting match let's have a conversation not a shouting match look at the distinctives where in the socialist manifesto or where 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 in socialism is the idea of being united to the apostles I mean, that's Where in socialism is the proclamation of the resurrection? So what are apostles? Hold on, apostles are like uh, the uh, followers of Jesus Christ. Right? So, no, focus on me. Be, be polite. Be polite. Be polite. You're, that's not necessary. Listen. The apostles are the followers of Jesus, right? Yeah. So if I'm saying that this is not to be taken, if we're saying that the Bible is... Socialism, where's the apostles? Where's the proclamation of the resurrection? The Bible isn't to be taken literally. We are all followers of protecting the earth and those No, no, no. Answer my question. Listen to me. Answer my question. We agree. We agree. No, answer my question. Where are... Where is the fellowship with the apostles in socialism where in socialism is the proclamation of the resurrection i'm saying that jesus predates socialism agreed and jesus was the first socialist no no because that is a socialist ideal no that's a christian ideal which where is the state in is inspired where, where's the state which is inspired socialism where's the state here it Show us where the intervention the of the state, state is, which doesn't is required for a socialist system. No, you, your only state. example is the NHS. No, it doesn't. No, yes, I, I that's also, a socialist I, I also example. Get, I also gave you the idea of cooperatives, where yeah. people take shared ownership yeah. Yeah. of the uh, of collective things. Yeah. That, yeah. And that is, yeah. a, that is a socialist idea. Yeah. That is nothing to do with the state. No, no, no. no. So there's lots of different types you, no, of you, You're calling things socialists that aren't socialists. No, Christians were it, doing this before socialism. Yes, because socialism Where is socialism? Socialism. In, socialism is, is inspired by writings like that. Right. That is what I'm saying. Okay, so let me reply to so, that comment. So let me just explain what I wanted to make, uh, what I was saying before. And this let, is, and this you, is Christianity, let, not let, let, socialism. No, because I was trying to make a point earlier. So you, you, oh, you, said, oh, 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 you said that uh, don't, you don't take the one. Bible don't literally the because of the uh, uh, killing of people who, uh, the calling of the killing of people who insult people's mothers. No, absolutely not. So if we didn't take this literally, but we took the meaning of the message, then the apostles are uh, literally just don't everybody. Don't so can, if, can I reply to that? So if we were able to... If Jesus was the first socialist and everybody was, was socialist, then everybody would start doing that to the people who are following Jesus, which can, is can everybody. I reply that? So that can I, can I is reply a socialist to message. Can I reply to that? that? Is, Let, I, that I will, I will, I will. That, that, yeah. is, not, that is not taken in the literal Lister, sense. Lister, can I reply to that? the meaning and the spirit Lister. of the message. Okay, let me reply to that, Lister, right? Lister, the, the reality is what you're teaching, what you're essentially trying to do is the political equivalent of heresy. You're trying to pick and choose scripture That's according... Oh, wait, 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 no, no, one second. Right, so sadly we have to do a bit of a shouting match. What Lister is doing right now is essentially trying 
to pick and choose scriptures. He's taking, he is taking what is, he's taking what is Christianity and he's trying to distort it. The reality is, Lister, is Christianity is a complete identity, it's a complete way of life. We are not practicing socialism here. That is Christianity. And it is based upon the idea of a perfection. It isn't the case that every single Christian has to do that because you don't understand the Bible. Every Christian is not called to do that. It is a perfection that if you can do it, you should do it, but it isn't obligatory on every Christian to do it. And that's right, and that's what, and, and this is the point. What you're trying to do is you're trying to take something that came 1800 years after the birth of Christianity and superimpose it onto the past and ignore the bits of Christianity that disagree with the socialist system. The reality is that Christianity practiced here is a community of people united to the apostles and because they are united there to the apostles they are united to one another and it is because of their unity to the apostles and the apostolic teaching that they do not treat things as private ownership but as common ownership because they all believe in the one body of Christ Amen. that's Christianity it is not socialism it is optional, it is not obligatory. And also, furthermore, and this is my final point so you can reply, is that Christianity offers something, things that socialism doesn't. It offers the inner spirituality that is lacking in the socialist ideology because socialism is all about social injustice. It's all about the problems outside of ourselves and how those problems make us behave. But Christianity gives you something deeper. It says there are problems outside of ourselves that we need, we need, we need. It's saying, it's saying that there are problems outside. I'll let, I'll let these two have their sh No, I want to finish my point. I want to finish my point. Right. Thank so you. socialism, so socialism only mind. sees the problem outside, yeah, right? And it offers a solution that I don't think is very effective. But Christianity, as well as saying that there are problems outside of us, says that there's something else. There's a problem inside of us. And to fix that problem inside of us, you need to go into your inner man. You need to change your inner self, yes. and the way that you do that is through imitating Jesus. So let me ask you this question. You keep saying, you keep saying that you're inspired by Jesus. Would you like, do you see yourself as a follower of Jesus? Uh, not only Jesus, but like I say, I, I've read, uh, I've not read all uh, religious scripture, but like, there's lots of inspiration to take from Muhammad as well, which I've taken, I've taken inspiration from Jesus. I've taken inspiration from other fictional characters, from, uh, from, yeah, from, fictional. from like the stories that I uh, read or watched on TV. I've, I, I've taken inspiration from real people in the real world who who uh, also seem to take inspiration from religious figures or have brought like things forward to, and done something new and inspirational on, off their own backs. So, so here's the thing, right? If we're saying, because you're, and this is why I... I, I uh, hold on, can I just make one final point yeah, that, uh, uh, that I wanted to make? You claim that I was picking and choosing uh, scripture to you suit are. my own narrative. Yes. Exactly the same as what you are were doing when you said that, when we read that uh, piece earlier about someone insulting someone's mother or father should be uh, committed to death. And you said you don't believe that in because we've changed and you don't take the Bible literally. So, so, let me, so you are also doing what so, I, I am guilty of. So let me reply. Using the Bible to fit your own narrative to make it more acceptable so let me reply. in a modern society. So let me reply. Because what I actually said was, is I reject simplistic, literal 
applications of the Bible. What, the what I actually said was that what I actually said was 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 that we should have laws in this country that punish people for dishonoring their mother and father. I think, I think, I think, I think that we should have, oh, are you not listening? So I'll talk to the camera guys. What I think we should do is we should pass laws that when, that when children are not looking after their parents, are not caring for their parents, it should be treated in the same way as child neglect. If you neglect your elders in their old age, you should be treated like a parent who neglects their child. Your elders should be protected by law. Now, Lister, socialism is defunct and deficient. It's defunct because it doesn't have the right answer to the problem. It recognizes the right problem. It, no, listen. Socialism recognizes that there is a real problem in capitalism. And I agree with socialists, there is a real problem in capitalism. But the answer that socialists give does not work. And actually, I would argue that capitalism has raised more people out of poverty than socialism. If you look at every... Well, no, 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 I'm going to finish my point. I'm going to finish my point. Socialism, wherever it has been tried, has left those countries in greater degrees of poverty than where capitalism has been tried. Furthermore, furthermore, the next problem of socialism is that socialism is, has a huge ideological blind spot. The human person needs to be fixed from the inside. And that fixing from the inside begins with acknowledging Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. And in Acts chapter 4, sorry, yes, in Acts chapter 4, it was not socialism that was being practiced, it was Christianity. Just because you see a synergy between your worldview and the Christian worldview, does not mean that what we have here is socialism. What it means is you've got Christianity light. You've got Christianity light. You have Christianity minus, minus what the full Christian worldview gives. And you, what you need to do, bro, is embrace the rest of Christianity. Amen. That's what you need to do, Lister. You need to embrace the rest of Christianity. Because what the problem is, is that is a book that is very ahead of its, was written very ahead of its time. Just like the Quran. And it's, uh, what I believe that it is, is uh, uh, stories told about the human psyche that uh, can inspire people to act in those ways instead of something that people can use to uh, turn into this authoritarian kind of... Um, I'm the priest and I'm the bishop and only I'm able to understand what it says, so you must listen to me. Like, that's what's wrong with Christianity, that's what's wrong with Islam. People should read them themselves and take up what they, uh, what they can understand from it and take inspiration from it from these books themselves and, and better them li their lives in that way instead of taking inspiration from toxic people in society. Like you? Like dust? What have I done that's toxic? Well, you lied about Tommy Robinson. I didn't lie. You, I that, made an assumption. You spread poison made, about someone made, that could end up with him being attacked. Oh, oh, my God. God. That's very toxic. That's, what he's done. that's you very toxic. You don't like being spread. You spread lies Tommy. about people. I'm pointing out to, you're no, talking you to yourself. Stopped. You just stopped me talking about Tommy Robinson because you didn't want to talk about it, and now you're bringing it up again to use as an example of toxic so people. So here's again you going back on your word and being a hypocrite, which is Keep going. part of your toxicity. So you should look into yourself. I agree. Before you start preaching the Bible to everybody else, because you have obviously not understood it to the full effects that you should before you can go around preaching to everyone what they should so allow me to reply to anyway, that I'm done. he's it's done getting a bit toxic now, so he's getting a bit toxic he's getting a bit toxic he got called out he got he got he got he got he got, he got called out on a lie and he can't prove the lie 
Fascist. There you go, you're a toxic guy. You're, a, you're just accuse everyone of being a fascist who disagrees with you. Prove it. Prove it. Prove he's a fascist. Prove it. So, am I a fascist? Fascism arises from a root in psychology. It's root. Now, don't give me your psycho babble. Prove that he's a fascist. My psycho babble is literal from psychologists. No, psycho babble. Prove that he's a fascist. Where's your evidence he's a fascist? 30% of people in society that have an authoritarian mindset. Where's your proof he's a fascist? Am I a fascist? Where's your proof? Am I a fascist? I'm a proud fascist. I'm a proud fascist. I'm a proud fascist. I don't know anything about you. Notice the only one that is not willing to accuse of being a fascist is the black brother. In other words, he feels comfortable accusing white people of being fascists. But he won't. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know anything about you. You could be. National socialism was rampant in the Middle East in the Ralph 1960s. Masalamani, Rampant. Ralph Maslamani, for instance, is not white, but he is a fascist. The, I'm not saying that it is the, the, connected to race. The, the, it is the connected issue. to the mindset. And the, it's 30% of people just that have this authoritarian mindset. You, you've accused, you've accused Tommy Robinson. Who are the fascists against? 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 and where the state institutions are valued over and above the individual. That is what fascism is. The idea of fascism is the idea of a bungle of twigs who are, which are bound together. Each twig can be broken on its own. You can have fascist multi-ethnic states. You can have fascist multi-ethnic states. He's confusing. He accused me of confusing communism and socialism. He's confusing national socialism with with fascism, as if they're the same thing. Fascism and national socialism are not the same thing. They are not the same thing. Fascism is a broad spectrum that includes lots of different fascist groups. Nazis are a type of fascist group. Mussolini's fascist And socialists are a type of communist group. There you go. No. Socialists were born out of Engels and Marx's teaching. So, no, no, that's not socialism. That is not socialism. That's Christianity. You just want Christianity light, not real Christianity. Guys, let Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Truly, He is risen. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. First vote. First vote. Jesus is Lord. We Christians don't need Marxism. We don't need socialism. We don't need fascism. We don't need Nazism. What we need is a full-blooded Christianity in our politics, in our economics, in our culture, in the fullness of our life. The problem that we have is that too many Christians are diluting their faith with other people's ideologies and other people's belief systems. They are mixing a Christian identity with a liberal identity or a socialist identity. What we need to do is to recover a full Christian identity. Christians are not, Christians are not defined by their race. Blacks, whites, Asians, Africans, we are one in Christ. Christians are not defined by economic arguments. We're not capitalists. We're not socialists. We're united in Christ and Christ is our identity and we pursue justice. Justice in a capitalist system. Justice in a socialist system. That is what we pursue. Christians are not defined by economic status. Whether you're rich or poor, when you come to the Lord's table, 
You're all the same. In the early church, slaves used to eat the same communion bread with slave masters. Christians used to treat slaves as brothers, not as slaves. Christians have our own identity. We offer to the world an alternative to the political narratives, an alternative to the economic narratives, an alternative to other religious systems like Islam, like Sikhism, like Buddhism or Judaism. Christians offer a better solution to the problems in our society because we recognize that the problem begins in the heart. It begins in your heart. And when, and when you submit yourself to Christ as teacher, Christ as Lord, Christ as God, Christ as Saviour, that He will change your heart. That He will take you to more virtue. That He will teach you how to walk in faith, in love, in hope, in justice, in prudence, in chastity. That He will teach you how to fight against lust and envy, and greed, and wrath. What we need in our world is not Islam, is not a free market. What we need in our world is a full commitment to Christ as Lord in our own hearts, in the hearts of our fellowships, in the hearts of our communities, in the hearts of our nation, in the hearts of the West, in the hearts of the East, in the hearts of Africa, in the hearts of the Middle East. That's who we need. Any questions? Any questions? Glory to Jesus Christ! Glory to Jesus Christ! We got a question, brothers and sisters. I mean, uh, Boys and girls. let's say that the, <laughs> another form of life is, is found in another planet. Oh, I want to hear what this guy says. Okay, is this on topic? Yes. Okay. Jesus Christ, why he wouldn't have revealed to that planet? Okay, so the question is completely irrelevant to the topic, but out of charity and goodwill, I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to answer the question. Okay? Because. The question was about aliens on other planets and why didn't God reveal about aliens on other planets? Like no, why he didn't quiet. reveal himself as God? To who? To other, other forms of life. How do you know he didn't? <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't talked about it. Were you there? Because he doesn't no, talk about no, it. No, but let's say for example, hypothetically, you know, another forms of life are found in another planet. So how do you know he didn't? Because he doesn't talk about it. In your hypothetical world? No, but let's say... Uh, well, yes, it's just true, you know, um, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe. 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 But, let's, let's, but let me address your but, point, sir. Yeah. Now, let me address your point. The fact of the matter is, brothers and sisters, the Bible doesn't need to answer every question. Correct. <laughs> it only needs to answer the questions that are important to you. Yes. And what you need to know is how to get to heaven and how to be equipped to do good works. How, who God is and how to relate to Him. Those are the questions that you need to know the answers to and those are the questions that the Bible answers. The reality is to deal with the question of aliens, right? There is a galactic silence. We have found no evidence of any alien civilization and furthermore, we have every reason to believe that life is rare in the universe. But when God is giving his scriptures to us, he's talking about life in this planet. Because that's the one that matters to us. And the reason why it matters to us is because the chances of us even ever getting to another planet, another planet in another solar system, are so astronomically large, they're totally irrelevant to our life. 
We're never going to get there. What we've got to look at, what we've got to look at, is how I relate to you, brother. How you relate to me now in this world. That's what we've got to be concerned about. Not worrying about whether some alien species knows that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but if those species are going to go to hell or heaven... How do you know they are? Hypothetically, you know. So, if... If... Because they're very naughty, sinful. If we find humans... This is just whataboutism. If we find humans in another planet... But you're assuming... And, and, and God didn't reveal... How do you know? Yeah, and how do you know the it's idea? just hypothetical. The pro bro, 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 you're just making up a world. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, okay, species that could come under God's judgment, God would like act slugs. to save them. All right, okay. the slugs save them. Slugs your your possible it. world, I don't believe exists. It's not a possible world. All right, okay. Why should maybe be listening to that? Yeah, okay. Any other questions? Any other questions on the topic? Aliens or about <laughs> depends on the bus and it depends what time you get there. Any other questions? What's, what's next week's winning lottery numbers? I don't know. Well, what, one of them will be seven. What? Yeah. No, no, you you seven. Why, why did your mother let you out of the house? You you okay, <laughs> so there seems to be no serious questions. <laughs> See a Muslim. Okay. Okay, God is fear. God is fear. What about it? Uh, liars are feared. What, what about, what, what's the question? The question is that, uh, because uh, I'm a psychologist and liars are feared, means that God is a liar. What, sorry, what's the question? No, no, why this, is God it's feared? not really it. Yeah, why God is feared, it, that could mean that God is a liar. Okay, so when, when it talks about, it, it, yeah, it is just a statement, but let me reply to the statement. The scriptures teach us, the scriptures teach us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the reason, but when it talks about this fear, it's kind of like the fear that you have towards your father. You that respect, father. it's about respect. It's just an Old Testament fear. word for respect. In ancient Greek it is. It's just an Old Testament word for respect. It translates as fear, but the idea of it is respect. And the reality is, why should you respect God? Because if you follow in his ways, his ways will lead you away from harm. It will lead you away from death. And that is ultimately what we all need. We need to find a way of life that leads us away from harm and death. Because, let's be honest, our politics systems are failing us right now. Psychologists have no answer. They can diagnose a problem, but they have no answer. Because psychology doesn't give you a set of values, it just gives you a way of assessing how values come about in the mind. But what we need as human beings is guidance. We're programmed for it. That's, that's an essential part of our nature. It's, it's programmed into your DNA. Agreed? You're a psychologist. You should know this better than anyone. So the, the reality is we have, a, we have an input capacity waiting for someone to input information. It's important to get the right information and that right information comes from God. Yeah? And that's why we need to fear the Lord because that's the beginning of wisdom because wisdom leads you from harm and leads you to life so that you might have the truth and the truth shall set you free so that you might have life and have it to the full. And that's why you need the truth and I need the truth. It's why we all need the truth. And we need greater degrees of that truth in our life. Can I, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? What, what, is, your, what is your view of Jesus? He was a liar. Jesus was a liar? Yeah. Can you show me where he told a lie? He did not. Wait. I told you.